Best for soil. Vermicompost. Practical information. Hello. Hi, my name is Alfred Grand. The Best for Soil video provides an introduction to vermicompost, production and application. At the end of the video, you will find additional information on these topics. Please watch the other Best for Soil videos on compost and soil health related topics. Compost is a product that results from microbial decomposition of organic matter under aerobic conditions. Depending on composting method, size, intensity of the operation and the input material, a large range of composts with different qualities can be produced. Vermicomposting is the most natural composting process. It involves epigeic earthworms such as Icenia fetida. It is important not to exceed 35 degrees Celsius, otherwise the earthworms would be killed. Vermicompost has the highest diversity in microbes and is considered to help in suppressing pathogens but does not kill or deactivate weed seeds. Therefore, in larger scale production, a combination of thermophilic composting and vermicomposting is recommended. Because of the unique characteristics of vermicompost, it is usually not used like compost and spread on the field in high application rates. Besides the microbial diversity, vermicompost has a higher nutrient density, with nutrients more available to plants. In addition, vermicompost contains significant amounts of cytohormones such as auxin, gibberellina, and cytosinine. Vermicompost not only has a higher quality than thermophilic compost, but it also takes a significantly higher effort to produce it. Therefore, vermicompost is used more frequently in high-value crops such as young plant production, horticulture, vineyard, orchards, or even golf courses. In arable field farming, vermicompost-based compost tea and seed coating applications can be used to increase soil health with limited application rates starting from 1 litre per hectare. For most EU member countries, there are nearly no specific regulations for vermicomposting available. Especially when produced indoor, no emissions like smell or runoff have to be feared. In some EU states, regulations consider vermicompost as a fertilizer instead of a compost. Unlike thermophilic composting, there is no minimum volume for vermicomposting. Significant amounts, which are going to be used for production, should undergo a two-step process. First part stage is a thermophilic stage to kill weed seed and potential plant or human pathogens. This step also breaks up the resources, homogenizes and softens them and helps to stabilize the material, which would otherwise raise the temperature in the vermicomposting process later and kill the earthworms. If the resources are to be fed directly to earthworms, manure from plant feeding animals like horses, cows or sheep is a good resource. If a thermophilic process is conducted prior to vermicomposting, the organic feedstocks can be more diverse. The materials added to the earthworms should have a carbon to nitrogen ratio of 25 to 1. Earthworms have a narrow range of preferred environmental conditions to allow top optimal productivity. This should be monitored and controlled regularly. The optimum temperature is between 15 Celsius and 30 Celsius, with earthworm survival between 0 Celsius and 40 Celsius. The preferred moisture content is between 60 to 80%. Oxygen has to be available in the vermicomposting area at all times, which is provided through airflow. Therefore, the bedding material has to have a good physical structure. The pH of the material should be within 5 to 8, and salt levels should not be too high. Professional vermicomposting operations run throughout the year. If the local climate does not allow production in winter, production can be done indoors. 
in indoor systems, interest in continuous flow facilities is increasing. Aside from the production of these composts, it is also important to monitor the quality of the compost produced. We have also prepared a best for soil video on this topic. The regulations relating to the application of vermicompost differs in each EU member state. Generally, vermicompost is considered as compost or fertilizer. Therefore, for each use, different regulations may apply, and the operator has to make sure to follow these regulations carefully. Beside of the application as a fertilizer, because of the value of the product, vermicompost is often used in small quantities. Extract like compost teas are used for seed treatment, as a foliar feed, or as an inoculant for the soil. Vermicompost can also be used to incorporate it into the seed rill, or used as an amendment for soil substrates, or as a stimulator at vineyard or orchard planting. Compost production is a process which needs a lot of know-how and some experience to produce a quality material. If you want to get more information on compost, feel free to check the Best for Soil website where you can find additional resources.